And I'm John Octavec. I was born in 64. I, I grew up uh, in Baltimore mainly till about 1972. We moved out to Anne Arundel County and there was a shore house owned by my grandfather. And uh, we got down there and moved in and I started noticing, you know, different piles of screens. And, and I asked my dad what they were and he told me he's going to teach me how to paint them. And so, yeah, I started... My dad said, you know, how about if you uh, first coat them and, and I'll paint them. And, you know, that's where I got the, the actually, that was how I learned a technique of uh, not clogging the holes through one solid color. And, and then I started um, doing the black for the trees for them and dabbing that. And you have to leave enough uh, room for the birds to fly through, they say. If you do a solid, you know, it doesn't look good. So my earliest... Uh, memories of screens were I'd go down the, the penny candy store in the morning and uh, I'd come back and on the way I'd, I'd just look up at people's windows and I'd see these scenes done in different neighbors' windows and, you know, it always fascinated me and so if their window was open they could yell out, hey Johnny, you know, and and I'd look around and, and I couldn't see them but they'd tap on the screen and I'm like, oh, hi, hi, and uh so, you know, it's a good bit of privacy there. You, you can open your window and, you know, nobody sees in. So, uh, uh, off of Monument Street, it was Glover Street. And I lived at 613 North Glover. And it was very friendly. I, As a young boy, I remember walking up and down. I could knock on anybody's door to see if anybody wanted to come out and play. You could play in the alleys. We played marbles in the street. We rode bikes up and down the street. Went to the penny candy store, the snowball stand. When I'd walk back and forth, I'd see the different scenery in the windows. And, you know, it, it attracted me to them. You know, I'd love to be able to paint something like that one day. And, and then my dad... Uh, when we moved to the country, I kind of missed them. Uh, you know, there was nothing out there like that in Anne Arundel County. So um, my dad brought some home and painted them, and he trained me how to paint them. So um, I started first coating screens, and that's where I learned not to clog the holes with solid colors. And then I graduated over the weeks and months and probably years to... Uh, I only had a couple years with him, though, because he died when I was 15. And from, like, 8 and some till 15... I tried to pick up as much as I could, and uh, I, I'd learn shadows and highlights and everything in between. Uh, how the uh, sky is reflected by the water, how uh, different colors go, fall, winter, stuff like that. So, And my grandfather used to teach uh, airbrush, but definitely screen painting in the back. And I, he had a lot of people that wanted to pick it up and learn it, and a, a lot of our family did do it. Um, my dad, my Uncle Al... Um, now my nephews and cousins, they, they are dabbling in it, but, but I, I stick with it. I mean, that, that's one thing I try to do a lot of, and I'm getting it going out in the county here. You know, I stuck with the art, and that's what I do for a living. I build signs and paint them, and all. it's so where I can use, it's so I don't have a job I hate. I go there, and I get to, you know, use my artistic talents, because... I mean, there's, I, I would hate going to work if I didn't do that. So it's something that's, you know, it, it's not really tough for me. I mean, I already know how to do it. And, and people, it, it's you get a real good product when you're done. And you're proud to say, you know, I built that or painted it. So...